the boy with the rainbow heart. Hi, Miss Jackson. Hey, Zoe, welcome back. You are right on time. The boy with the rainbow heart. I love this book so much and you guys are gonna love it too. There once was a boy with a rainbow heart. Now I'm curious, a rainbow heart. What do you think that means, a rainbow heart? All right, sorry guys. Rainbow heart. So if you have a rainbow heart, tell me, what do you think that means? Ava, will you hit unmute and tell me your thoughts on what you think a rainbow heart means? It's a heart, but it's a rainbow. Yeah, yeah. and rainbows are really what? Are they happy? I think rainbows are super happy. So I think happy. What else is really awesome about rainbows? They're bright, they're cheery, they make you happy. I like it, I like it a lot. Mm. But he lived in a town that was full of no colors, just gray. Does this look like a happy town? No, it looks a little dreary. And as he grew up, everything the boy touched filled with color. So look at this. He touched, and now the grass is green. He touched, now the trees are green. Now remember, he has a rainbow heart. Hmm. Sounds pretty magical, doesn't it? I wonder if you guys have rainbow hearts. You don't think so? I'm not sure. I've known you guys now for a few weeks, and I actually think you do have some pretty spectacular hearts. But the gray town was very sad, and so shined through the colors of blacks, grays, and blues. Look at their faces, my darlings. They look very dreary. Dreary is a fancy word for uh, sad. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> the town, they also lived in fear. They were scared. And the people were so scared of anything that was colorful. Super scared of anything that was different than what they were used to. So take a look at these dreary friends and now look at our boy, our friend with the rainbow heart. I'm gonna scan it. He looks different from them because he's really happy, isn't he? He's smiling, he's cheery, and they're like, whoa, I, I, I don't know. This guy, he's awfully happy. I don't know about that. He's awfully excited. I don't know about those emotions. I have to tell you that sometimes people can be very scared, nervous, that's one of our vocab words, very nervous when people are different. So when people are different, sometimes we get a little nervous, a little scared. Remember Pen Penelope the Rex? She was very nervous because she was the only what? T-Rex. She was the only T-Rex. So she felt a little bit nervous because she didn't see anybody that looked like her. These friends aren't mean, but they are scared because they've never seen anybody like this sweet boy. Yeah. Do you know what you're supposed to be doing? Mm, I'm just listening to a story. But the boy remained happy. Even though nobody was very nice to him, he remained happy. He remained cheery. He was bright. He was light. And his heart, well, his heart was full. It was full, 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 and it always shined bright. Look at that sweet, happy boy. Do you know who he reminds me of? All of you guys. He reminds me of Ava. He reminds me of Sukruth. He reminds me of Penelope. He reminds me of Zoe. He reminds me of Aaron. He reminds me of Luke. He reminds me of Melody. All of you guys. 
There once was a boy with, what kind of heart does he have? A rainbow, rainbow heart. heart. Rainbow heart. And he wore all his colors on his sleeves. Have you ever heard anybody say, oh, I wear my emotions on my sleeves? Um, it's, it's not literally on your sleeves, even though it's on his sleeves, literally. But it means that everything you're feeling, all your happiness, all your excitement, you're showing it to the world to see. You're not worried about anybody not loving your colors. And for each day that had passed, the boy's rays, all his beauty, all his brightness, all his happiness was cast all over the town. And the town's gray began to leave. What's happening to the town? Colorful. It's getting colorful. It's getting brighter. All the true colors are coming out. All the sad colors are going away. And it started with yellow. It started with blues, then reds, then greens. And soon the town just shined like a bright, beautiful beam. Wow. Now, I think I could definitely live there now, huh? Isn't that gorgeous? Yep, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The boy's heart, it took over the whole town. All of his kindness, all of his good listening ears, all of his magic words. What are magic words again? Ms. Jackson says that a lot. Magic words are what kind of words? Zoe. Nice words. Nice words. Mag like. Mag my magic words are nice words. They're nice words like thank you. If you say thank you, magical things happen. Like maybe you'll get something really special. If you say please, that's a magic word. Because magically, somebody might give you something. And may I is a magic word. Thank you, please. What else are magic words, you guys? Please. Please. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that was the one that was missing in my brain. Very good. So if I ever say, don't forget your magic words, then that'll be your cue to be like, oh, thank you, or you're welcome, or may I? Now, that's where we're going. All of his magic words are just making the town turn happy. And teamwork is another word I think is, is helping. All those blacks and grays and sad blues fizzled out. And soon, it was the whole town was under a beautiful rainbow. Look at that. Do you see why rainbow is my favorite color? This is pure happiness. Amazingness. The townspeople changed too, and so did their hearts. With each new color, their fears all fizzled apart. So they stopped worrying. And when you stop worrying, really great things happen. Look at their hearts, you guys. Aren't they amazing? Mm -hmm. The boy's love for all people changed their hearts for the good. And the whole town of Gray's people soon understood. Once a heart has true love and true kindness, it doesn't matter its shine because it's always perfect and it's always kind. There once was a boy with a rainbow heart. And there once was a whole class of Miss Jackson's kinder stars with a rainbow heart. And through the power of all of our kindness and all of our love, our heart is going to change the world that we walk in. Your beautiful, beautiful hearts. Every person you meet, you're gonna change them. You're gonna change them for the good. You're gonna make everybody shine. 
the end. Now, we are going to make some rainbow salad. I call it rainbow salad or friendship salad. So again, these are things that you may not have. These are, I'm recording myself right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give you all the magical ingredients and you're gonna watch me fill it in, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna need for magical ingredients is probably a spoon, a bowl, okay? It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to look like this. I use this kind of bowl because it's easier for me to clean. And I'm going to, you're gonna see less of me and more of my bowl, is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. So um, one of our first ingredients that we need um, for our friendship salad is going to be listening ears. If we don't listen to our friends, if we don't listen to our teacher, we can't be a great friend, can we? If we don't listen, sometimes we can be in danger, danger. And do we want to be in danger? No. no, when you guys come into this classroom, it is my job to make sure you are safe. If I say, no, you may not do that. Or if I say, please stop doing that. It's not because Ms. Jackson wants to be a meanie peeny. It's because I need to make sure you are safe. I need to make sure you go home with not a scratch on you. Okay, not on my watch, I always say. So listening ears are going to be this magical ingredient, which is some vanilla yogurt. And you're gonna go plop. I'm trying. Sometimes it just plops in there, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see what happens. Oh, I might, I need an apron. I should get my apron. There we go. <laughs> All right, so there's your first ingredient. And what is this ingredient representing? Our listening what? Ears. Our listening ears. If we can't hear, then we can't be a great friend, right? If we're not listening to our friends and listening to them tell us all the amazing things, then uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, we're in trouble. My next magic ingredient is going to be Magic words, magic words, magic words. Tell me a magic word. Please. Please. Someone else tell me a magic word. Please, thanks, you're welcome. You're welcome. What's another one, Ava? Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. That's a good magic word. Uh, Melody, do you have a magic word? Ooh, excuse me is a good one. Yeah, tell me, baby girl. I'm waiting. I see you. Thank you. Thank you is a great magic word. Thank you is one of my favorites because it's kind of one of those things where if somebody's kind and they're sweet and they're giving you something, you need to make sure it makes them feel so great to know that you knew and acknowledged how much you appreciate um, that gift that they gave you. That's a good one. Penelope, what are you thinking? One more time, baby. Did you say please? Don't mind me. Oh, what a good one. Don't mind me. I like that one. Or pardon my reach, right? If you're going to go and grab a supply in front of a friend and you're kind of like going right into their space and into their zone, I love that. Don't mind me. Ooh, pardon me. That one's a good one because that one didn't come from my brain. That's from your brain. I like that one. Luke, do you have a magic word you want to share with us? So we've got please, we got thank you, we got sorry. That's a really good one. That's that's one that we might say more than once. <laughs> I already answered her. Oh, you did? Excuse me. Yeah, excuse me is a great one. I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. Any other takers? I know you guys know your magic words because you know why I know this? I know you know them because you guys have marvelous and wonderful parents. So that's why I know you guys already got those magic words down pat. Good, good, good. All right, so you know what represents magic words? Um, peaches. 
Now, again, you may not love peaches, but I love peaches. We actually just discovered, <laughs> I probably shouldn't share this, but I just bought new deodorant and it smells marvelous and it smells like peaches. So peaches are gonna represent our magic words. Now I have already, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of cleaner on my hands right now. I meant to show you guys that I washed my hands. So I'm gonna wash really quickly because the sweet peaches that I have have a little Excuse bit of juice me, in there. Mitch Jackson. What, honey? We don't have it. Oh, oh it's okay, baby. Speak? We don't have any yogurt. That's a okay because you know what? Maybe over the weekend you yeah, could make your friendship like salad. Yogurt. Zoe, do you want to know something super special? Penelope and Melody over the weekend made their, um, remember how we, well, you know what, Zoe, I'm not even sure when I did this, but we made these graham crackers that look like school buses. And, you know, we, uh, mommies and daddies, we're so busy, sometimes we don't get those ingredients. And they did those last weekend, even though that was from the week before. You can do it whenever you want to, okay? So we've got yogurt that represents our great listening ears. We got peaches to represent our magic words, which is very important to me. So that sounded yummy. <laughs> The next thing that I need to make sure that we have is no fibs. So going back to having a beautiful heart, if we wanna keep our rainbow heart shining bright, we need to make sure we do not tell lies. No lies, no lies, no lies, okay? Um, will Ms. Jackson ever get mad if you tell me the truth? No. If you spilled a whole can, or a whole can, I'm, I'm on a can kick right now. If you spilled a whole thing of red paint that will never, ever, 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 ever come out of my carpet, and you use your magic words and you tell me the truth and say, oh, I'm so sorry, Ms. Jackson, I fell down, um, I dropped the paint, it's all over your carpet, I am not going to be mad, not one iota, because you were honest with me and you told me, eek, I'm so sorry. So you know what's gonna represent no fibs? Pineapples. I love pineapples. Pineapples are yummy. So I'm gonna open up my pineapples. Ugh. And it comes with some sweet juice. There we go. <laughs> It just went right. I might need some more yogurt to help out here. So another thing for our friendship, um, for our friendship salad that we need to make sure we do when we get into our classroom is we know we need listening ears. We know we need magic words. We know we need no lies, no fibs, no, no, no. What we also need are kind hearts. Meaning if somebody is sad, we're not gonna just walk away and wonder what's happening to them. We're not gonna just walk on by and let them cry. We're gonna ask them, what's wrong? Why are you sad? Um, if we accidentally are playing tag and are, we run into each other and we go kerplunk, we're not gonna just run away. We're gonna ask them, are you okay? I'm so sorry, we just got excited. Um, um, kind hearts. Also, you know what? If somebody's wearing something and you're like, sorry. what, honey? I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry is such a magical word. Um, if we um, have something that is in our lunch boxes, and let's say it's food that you don't usually eat, are you gonna say, ew? How can you eat that? That's not having a kind heart, is it? You need to make sure, oh, I've never tried that. Or, oh, I've tried that, but it's not my favorite. That's not gonna hurt anybody's feelings, right? <laughs> so, to represent that are going to be some mandarin oranges, okay? Yeah, I bet we love these. Oh, there we go. And we're gonna go dump for doodles. Oh, that one was super splashy. Alrighty, awesome, awesome, awesome. And what about 
making sure we have really, really sweet and awesome attitudes. I realize we're gonna go to school for 185 days, okay? That's a lot of days, right? And sometimes on those 185 days, we might be in a grumpy mood. We might be, we might be kind of like, oh, I just stubbed my toe. I got gum in my hair. You might come to school and you might be having a really rough day. But you know what? When we open our doors at school, we need to take those deep breaths. <sighs> we need to realize that, you know what? I'm gonna make the best of this day. I am not gonna let these moments ruin my day. So we need to make sure that we have cheerful, happy attitudes. And there's nothing more cheerful than marshmallows. Who doesn't love marshmallows, right? So we're just gonna, whoop, we're gonna dump those in there. Okay, oh wow. Oh wow, that's gonna be yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. How's it looking so far, you guys? Are you getting kind of hungry? It's so slimy and gooey. Yeah, it may look slimy, it may look gooey, but it's, it's gonna taste good. All right, I've got one more magical ingredient that I wanna put in there. And I wanna talk about teamwork. Teamwork makes the dreams work, my darling bears. And we will not be able to conquer all the things that we're gonna do this school year if we do not work together as a team. Um, and when I say teammates, I mean family. Okay, guys, as we get into the school year, you are going to realize we are going to start loving each other. We are going to start enjoying each other. We are going to be a family. And one thing about family, if anybody has some brothers and sisters, um, sometimes we argue with our brothers and sisters, don't we? Right? Sometimes we're like, oh, stop it and you're not using your sweet magic words and you're not using your great cheerful um, voices, I will tell you we're gonna get to that point. We're gonna get to the point where we're like a family. We're gonna get to the point where we're gonna treat each other like brothers and sisters sometimes. And we need to take a step back and remember, oh, we need to be a team. We need to be a family. We need to do this together. Now, you know what's gonna be our togetherness are these. And these aren't the cherries with pits in it. These are the sweet cherries that you put on top of your ice cream, right? So I'm gonna open up one of those. I'm probably not gonna do them all because I'm gonna put a little bit of the juice in there. Oh yeah. And now I'm gonna get some, some cherries out of that. Oh, I forgot. I, I even made, I even prepared. I, I put spoons here. All right, look at those cherries. Oh, yummy. Who likes cherries on top of their ice cream? Um, so should I put some more in there? Who loves the cherries in our friendship salad? All right. Now, if we don't have, if we don't have all these happy, happy ingredients, okay? Um, this right here, does this look delicious? Mm. Oh. oh, okay. Should I put this in our friendship salad? No way. No. This right here represents not magic words. So if we forget our magic words, we're going to put this nasty banana in there. It's been in my fridge for a long time. It's squishy. It's broken. Look at the tip of it. Look at that tip. Ew! Oh, we do not want yucky bananas in our friendship salad, do we? We do not want these yucky, 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 yucky bananas inside this. So we need to make sure we do not lie. We need to make sure we always have gentle hands. We need to make sure we use our magic words. We need to make sure we have beautiful, caring hearts. And we need to make sure we're always listening to each other because we are friends. Friends turn into family. And I don't want to put my yucky nanner in here, okay? So I've got a little bit more of my listening ears in here. So I'm going to scoop 
a little bit more listening ears, which is vanilla flavored yogurt. So I'm gonna scoop, scoop, scoop. And normally, we would enjoy this together in our classroom. So it's kind of a bummer that we have to watch, but I am recording this and I will put this on our class dojo and I will show you all the ingredients to make it. And again, it may not look beautiful, but all together, it tastes delicious. Now I'm gonna move up so you guys can see me again. And what is this called again? Salad. Our friendship salad. And again, when you go shopping for your ingredients, if there happens to be like, maybe you're not a huge Mandarin orange fan and you're like, you know what? But I love regular oranges. You could gather ingredients that would make your family friendship salad a little yummier. One thing that um, maybe when we do get back into the classroom, would it be fun to make this again? Mm -hmm. Do you think you'd want to make this together as a class when we finally get together? Maybe so. Um, again, I got to tell you, this is delicious. And I'm going to let it sit for a little bit because the longer it sits, all those magical ingredients start to just go yummy, 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 yummy. They all start to just work together and they start to be friends. So I'm gonna have some of this, maybe when it's lunchtime. Um, or uh, I gotta tell you, it smells amazing right now. I wish you guys were here. Um, I'm gonna neaten up my area a little bit and I need your guys' help. So again, we'll enjoy this delicious friendship salad one day. One day soon, I hope. Um, believe it or not, there was actually, oh, should I put should I put this in there? <laughs> no, because this represents all the things you are not, okay? You guys have the most beautiful rainbow hearts. You know your magic words. You've got great listening ears. You are having gentle fingers. We're never gonna hurt each other. And if we do, we're gonna pick each other up and we're gonna say, I'm sorry, it was an accident. This will never happen again. All right, so I'm gonna un 